The Amazon Showcase at CES has brought us to some pretty cool places. And right now, we're in the Samsung Smart Home powered by SmartThings. Just one touch of this button. And my door unlocks, the AC goes on, the lights are on, and everything that I've set in my SmartThings app, all my routines right here go off perfectly. Now among the hundreds of connected things in my home, I've also got my voice activation through Alexa. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. I'm trying to set the mood here. Now, how, how are all of these things connected? It's right here through Samsung's Smart Things Hub. Now, I don't know much about Smart Things Hub, so I'm gonna need a little help. Hey Alexa, give me someone um, smarter than me that knows a little more about this hub. And maybe a puff pastry in my left hand. Hey, what's up? Who are you? How's it going? I'm Eric Canfield from what's the Samsung up? Smart Home Team. Well, tell me about this hub. So the hub is the brains of smart things. Smart things is the easiest way to make your phone, your home a smart home. It is the largest smart home pl platform, open okay. platform, with over 200 certified devices today. All right, let me stop you there. Does yes. that mean that they all have to be Samsung devices, or does that mean anything that I've gotten that's a connected device, can plug it in? Over 200 connected devices across many, many different brands, Perfect. not just Samsung. Okay. What else? What else do I need to know in terms of power? Do I need special frequencies? Do I need robots? What do I need to make this work? Do so I just buy it? all you need to do and... is plug that hub into your router okay. and set it up through the app and pair your devices through a very simple intuitive process in the app and you're good to go. Now tell me about the routines, right? I, I walked in, I hit the, the hello I'm home button. Does that mean I have different functions that I can use? I can set custom ones or do they come preset? So there, there are some preloaded routines, like when you wake up in the morning, when you go out of the house. I see this. Back, good morning. Good night. Good nights. Uh, so they're super easy to configure. Uh, once you have the devices paired into the app, all you do is go in and ask you a series of very intuitive questions. What do you want on? What do you want off? Do you want a door to unlock? Do you want a door to lock, et cetera? And after you answer those few questions, your routine is set. That seems pretty easy. So I get the Smart Things Hub. Yep. I get the Smart Things app for free. Exactly. My home's connected and life is good. Exactly. You're the man. Ditch that old dumb switch. Unscrew that horrid thing that's been there for decades and give your wall a 21st century facelift. Introducing Relay. Bringing the conveniences of a smart home to a place you'd most expect it, your wall. Replacing your switch with Relay doesn't just get you the ability to turn your lights on and off from afar, it gets you a command center for your entire home. A beautiful touchscreen display runs Wink and allows you to interact with over 100 products from some of the world's most trusted brands. From one central place, you'll be able to control door locks, blinds, thermostats, and so much more. Relay monitors all of the important things within your home, but in a creepy way like some of those other guys. Installing Relay will get you temperature, humidity, light, and sound sensors, allowing you to keep tabs on all of your household vitals. Set your Wink app to push your phone a notification when people get home, temperatures get out of whack, even if your baby begins to cry. Relay lets you enjoy all of the benefits of a smart home without having to be glued to your smartphone. Control, exactly where you've come to expect it, right there on that good old familiar wall. So go ahead and give your wall an upgrade. Relay is a whole lot smarter than a new coat of paint. Hi, I'm Jake, the DIY guy. Today we're going to walk you through the GE Z-Wave in-wall smart switch quick start guide. In this quick start guide, we'll review the installation and the setup. But first things first. Let's familiarize ourselves with the parts of the switch. The two black terminals are your load and your line terminals. The line terminal is your hot wire. That connects your switch to the power. The load wire connects your switch to the lighting. The silver terminal is for your neutral. That's where your neutral lines will be hooked in. That's normally a bundle of white wires in the back of your switch box. And the green terminal is for your ground wire which is commonly bare copper wire in the switch location. Now the gold terminal covered with a piece of insulation tape, that is the traveler terminal. This is where you would attach the traveler wire for use with the GE add-on switch for three or four-way control of your lighting. 
If you're not installing the switch in a three or four way installation, be sure to leave the insulation tape on the terminal. The first step to installing your switch is to shut the power to the circuit off at the circuit box or the fuse box. Now remove the wall plate. You can remove the mounting screws. Now carefully remove the switch, making sure you don't disconnect the wires in the process. You should see three terminals, line, load, and ground. At this point, you should label all of those wires. Once labeled, you can carefully remove the wires from the device. If they're plugged into the back, just turn the vise back and forth, and they'll pop out. Now you're ready to install your new smart control. Install the bare copper wire into the green ground terminal. Install the wire marked load into the load terminal. Now install the wire marked line into the line terminal. When you install these into the back of the device, make sure you push it all the way in so the bare wire is covered. With those installed, it's time to install the neutral. Look into the back of the box for the white wires bundled together under a wire nut. Remove that wire nut. Now take a piece of wire and add that to the wire nut. With the other end of that white wire, install into the silver neutral terminal. Once all your wires are connected, make sure your device is pointed upright and push the device into the box. Be careful not to pinch or dislodge any of the wires. Use the screws provided to secure the device into the box. Now you can install your wall plate. Now we can restore the power so we can test our system. To pair the smart switch to your Z-Wave controller, follow the instructions on your Z-Wave certified gateway. Once the controller is ready to include your smart switch, press and release up or down to include it in the network. Once your controller confirms the smart switch has been included, refresh the Z-Wave network to optimize performance. You now have complete control of your light according to groups, scenes, schedules, and interactive automations programmed by your controller. If your Z-Wave gateway features remote access, you can also control it remotely. Live life smart with Z-Wave lighting controls from GE. It's easy to pair and install the Iris motion sensor. Here's how to get started. To begin, you should be in the same room as your hub. In the Iris app, go to the Add section and tap Devices, then Motion Sensor. This will put the hub in pairing mode, indicated by a blinking green light. Remove the battery cover, pull the tab, and put the cap back on. The sensor's LED will blink while searching for the hub. When the hub beeps, your device has been paired. Now, let's install it. The angled back makes it convenient to mount in a corner or on a flat wall. The important thing is to locate the sensor about chest high with nothing blocking its view. Make sure the surface is clean and dry. Add the mounting adhesive to the back or the angled back if you plan to put it in a corner. Press and hold it against the wall for 10 seconds and you're done.